welcome back to the channel. I'm looking at myself in my little viewfinder. I look a mess. I need to do my hair. So I probably need to take a week off from posting videos. That way I can take care of me. I know I did weird reviews in the past. I'm just not into that right now. Plus I think I want to braid my hair and I've never braided my hair for YouTube. There's so many hair braiding videos out there and I'm not that great at it. I do well enough to keep from having to pay somebody. Anyway, hi, my name is Demoria. Welcome back to the channel. I am currently in my bedroom. If you watched my last video, you would have saw me assemble my bed and just kind of style it with things I have, but I didn't really, you know, put much thought into it. I just, you know, put things into place. But for today, I am going to be in the dining room. I recently found a dining room table at Goodwill. It was only $30, but it's broken. It's uh, the type of table that has the leaves that you can fold down so you can save space. We plan on leaving it up all the time because we actually have a dining room area that's empty. We need that leaf fixed. There's like this little, I don't know how to show you. Let's go in here so I can show you what I need to do to fix the leaf on the dining room table. And then I'm gonna paint it. And I ordered chairs. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Shame I'm gonna let the world see me like this. I just put my hair back in a ponytail for now. But let's head into the dining room. Now you're probably wondering what this is right here. We had a bit of a storage situation, so we used curtains to create a partition to hide some belongings. And you know, it's, it's working to make it look neater out here, but it does look a little awkward. And then whenever I ordered them, I didn't have the right length curtains the first time. So I went back and ordered more curtains. But the second time I ordered them, I didn't order enough. I have seven curtains up here, four short ones, three long ones. And then I really need a long one here, but I don't really like the color. So what I decided to do was just reorder different curtains. So I'm gonna take these down and replace them with different curtains. Before I even go starting with the curtains, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this table. So let me show you. So this is a table that I picked up from Goodwill. It has a broken leaf on it, like I said. I don't know what you call it. What would I call this thing? Let me see. I'm gonna Google it. Ah, I don't wanna call it a leaf holder. What is it? Leaf support, boom. So this is a leaf support. I only have one. So there's a leaf support on this side of the table, but there is no support on this side. I went to Home Depot, let me show you. I couldn't find anything that measured that size. So when I went to Home Depot, I looked around at different pieces of wood and everything was a little too big, but too small to actually, you know, try to trim it down and make it thinner. So I decided to pick up this little thin piece of wood. That way I could cut it to 13 inches and I could just stack them and glue them together until I get the thickness I need to make it fit this little hole right here. There's a little space that this piece of wood would need to slide into and it would come out through here, but I would have to put a stopper on it so it doesn't slide completely out. Like how this piece has this stopper on it. What I picked up from Home Depot was the piece of wood that I showed you. And here's a little <laughs> sticky note that I took with me where I put my little measurements on that I could use as a guide. I bought two screws and I bought these little washers. That way I could make my own stopper. I think it'll work. I need to grab a few supplies. I need to grab my saw, a screwdriver, some wood glue. I think those are all the things I need. Let me go ahead and mark this for 13 inches. And I wonder how many pieces I'll need. Let's see here. It says it is three-fourths inches wide. So let's see how many inches this is across. It's a fourth of an inch. So I need three of these. I can stack three of these and that should be good. How tall? One and one-fourth inches. Let me see how, how much the distance is across here. One and one-fourth, that's actually perfect. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't wanna cut my foot. Break it now. Got a pretty deep groove in there. Oh yeah, oh no, it's breaking. <laughs> Let me saw on the other side. I don't want the splinter. Yay. I guess I'm starting to get better at it. 
so let's see how this compares to this leaf support that we already have on the table. All right, so here's the leaf support that's already on the table. The thickness looks the same to me. <laughs> Let's see if I can slide these through this hole. Oh wow, it worked. <laughs> that's perfect. The only thing I need to do at this point are glue these pieces together and let them dry and then I'll put the my little stopper in. It's coming out the sides. It must be clogged. I have some chopsticks from Tendrum. Thank you, Tendrum. Oh, it's a perfect time to use these. So I'm just gonna dip my little chopstick in here and I'm gonna use the wide end. And I'm gonna smear it on. Yep, that glue on it. I did a pretty good job of cleaning out my closet whenever I was trying to decide what to wear today. Something that wouldn't bother me if it got messed up. I had a pretty hard time. I got rid of all the things that I don't care about. I still have some clothes in there that I have to try to force myself to wear, which is not good. So that means I need to go through my closet again. But at least I do know I don't have junk in my closet. These are glued, but they're not like sticking together right now because the glue is not dried. They're kind of sliding around and I'm trying to keep them aligned. So I'm gonna use some painter's tape to secure them together. And then I'm gonna use my nail gun to put a few brad nails in there and hopefully that'll keep everything lined up perfectly. That looks pretty good, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple of brad nails in here. All right, so I think I got plenty of nails in here. I'm going to let this sit for a while so it can dry. And I'm gonna tidy up my mess here and get ready to paint. It's probably been about 15 or 20 minutes and I think I'll be safe to go ahead and try to make the stopper to go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It'll try to put the stopper in before I slide it in. It won't go in. So I gotta slide this in here. I'm gonna take my little nail here and some washers. That's gonna be my, my little stopper. All right. Let me move this out of the way. So this little stopper here, you see how close it is to the edge? That's what I'm kind of afraid of. I don't know if I'm gonna get mine that close to the edge because I'm afraid of that wood splitting. So I'm gonna bring mine back just a tad. donated it, did not pay $30 for it. Let's test this baby out and see if I can stand her up. This is the, the leaf that was working that it came with. So that's the good leaf and let's see if mine works. Okay, here we go. Yay! It worked. I need to go ahead and wash the table off and get it prepped for paint, because I'm gonna paint it. It should be dry in a few minutes. I picked all these paint supplies up from Home Depot. And when I went to Home Depot, I had every intention to prepare myself to sand this table. But whenever I went to the paint department and I talked to the lady that worked there, I showed her a picture of the table, I described it to her, and I told her what I wanted to do with it. And she was like, oh, you can sand it if you want to, or you can just prime it and paint it. So I was like, heck yeah. I want to prime and paint. I knew that it was going to take a long time to get it sanded and painted because I don't have a sander. So I was actually thinking about buying one. And why would I buy a sander when I could just buy primer and paint it? The only downside is the primer was kind of expensive. So I ended up spending almost $100 in paint. I, well, I bought some other items. So I think I spent probably around $75 for my paint supplies. Let me show you what I have. 
in the order that I need to do this project. Bare, multi-surface stain blocking, primer, and sealer. And then I have the actual paint that I want to use. I had two that I was debating about. One is sort of like an ashy black and the other one is black. And I went with the black one. This is a bare color, but she mixed it in the Glidden. And she's like, let me mix it with Glidden because it's going to be cheaper, but I can match that color. So I was like, heck yeah, limousine leather. And it was a bare color, but like I said, she mixed it with the Glidden paint and it is an ultra scrubbable one coat paint. And I got it in flat because I wanted to have that matte look. For the final layer that's gonna be the protectant, I got a polyurethane matte finish. And this is a water-based finish. Everything I have is water-based because I know that the oil-based paints can be fumy and I don't wanna have that toxic smell. For our safety and my roommate has a dog and I don't want any of us to be coughing in here and having respiratory issues. So I thought I would go with the water-based paint. Plus it's supposed to dry faster. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my tarp down and we're gonna start painting. I feel like I need to move this table out of the way. Good morning. Yes, for the light. This is some glorious light that's coming in here right now. It is 11.38. I've actually been up <clears throat> for quite a while. I didn't sleep good last night. I had so many things running through my mind about the dining room because last night I put the chairs together and I intentionally ordered gray. In my head, I thought the gray chairs would look good with a black table. But whenever I looked at the chairs, I thought I got them assembled. I kind of played around with, you know, put them next to the table to see what they look like. And then, you know, the curtains that I ordered to replace the ones that I have up, those are gray too. And I was like, oh my goodness, everything's so dark and dreary. So uh, I just woke up probably around three o'clock in the morning <laughs> with that on my mind. And I read a devotional and started looking on Pinterest at chairs. And then I was like, what if I, you know, could find a replacement chair? So I browsed a little bit, couldn't find anything that was budget friendly. 
So I started looking on YouTube and I went down the rabbit hole of painting the chairs to make them look like a wood color. That way I could bring more of the warm tones in because I feel like the dining room is gonna be very cold and dark. So this morning about seven, I got up and I put the leaves up on the table, put all the chairs around the table. And I was like, this would actually look pretty good if I just left the curtains that I already have in place instead of using you know the dark gray ones i just need that one panel so i checked walmart and they do have the panel that i need because they did sell out that's why i didn't re you know get that extra one so another thing that i feel like would like just really put the cherry on top is a pendant light and i found one on amazon they have two that i like they have this one right here which is a farmhouse rattan pendant light. I feel like it looks like twine and they just kind of wrapped it around some metal to make the pendant light. And I think that would be really cute to bring in like the natural wood tones that I said I want. And that one is $39.99, $40, which is I feel like a pretty good deal. And then they also have this one. I feel like this one would be the best one this one is a rattan looking one. It looks like the actual wood. It looks more natural to me. And this one is $50. But the problem with this is if I order this, it won't ship till Sunday. If I order the other one, I'll get it tomorrow. And I really want to wrap up the dining room. So what I'm thinking I should do, because everything else I have, I'm thinking I should just go ahead and style the dining room because the tables not completely done i'm gonna be honest i didn't put the top coat on it the sealer because i decided i can just go ahead and style this video wrap it up and then once i post it i can just go back and take all the stuff off the table and put that protective coat on there because it's going to be a matte finish so it's not going to look any different from how it looks right now it's not going to have a gloss on it i didn't want to go for the sheen i'm thinking i could always go back later and make tweaks and improvements this is real life and I have a budget, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have and we're gonna go style it. All right, before we head into the dining room, I wanna show you the things I have to possibly style with. And I won't be using all of it, of course, cause you know how I do. I buy some, I return some, but we have three rugs here. One is an indoor outdoor rug by Calvin Klein. It was $45 and it's just a plain gray rug. It has a lot of texture on it. So with all the other gray stuff going on, I don't know if that'll work, but it's an option because it's really plain. I just feel like the table's not gonna say a whole lot if it's just sitting directly on the floor. But this is it right here. And it's a pretty big rug. Let me see what size it is. Five feet, three inches by seven foot. That's an option. This one I think was $30. I don't know the size. This one doesn't even have a tag on it, but I do know it was $32. I feel like it was a little pricey, but I needed options, so I went ahead and got it. The thing I like about this rug is I can throw it in the washing machine, you know, since it's gonna be under the table if we keep this one. Food could get all over it, and that'll be an easy rug to keep clean. And then the last rug option is the most different, but the one I'm hoping will look good because we need color. This one is, uh, it was $34.99 and it is four by six. I feel like it would be better if it was a bit bigger, but I'm thinking this may look good later on top of the gray one. We'll see. But I really hope this one works. I'm gonna show these to my roommate too and see what she thinks about it. For a centerpiece, I picked this up from Target, Hearth and Hand, and it was $30. I think this is a really good deal because it's really big. And I got some beautiful flowers to put in here to make an arrangement. And then I have options for the tabletop. I have this uh, runner and it's like a natural, I don't know, what is this material called? But yeah, this is an option. I like the natural color because you know, I want to bring in some wood elements. And then I also have this, this wood Lazy Susan and the shape of it work well with the round table. But whatever I do, I'm gonna put this arrangement either on top of this or this. We got options, which I need cause I'll be struggling.
All right guys, so I think the dining room is looking pretty good with the same color curtain. I talked to my roommate, she agreed this one is a better color. And um, she also agreed that we need the pendant light. So I went ahead and ordered that. I'll actually install the pendant light before I do the after. So I'll see you in a couple of days. Just a few seconds for you guys though. We finally finished and it's probably been almost two weeks since I started this video and I was trying to stay consistent and when I first started this I was like oh I'm consistent yay me because I actually said that in the beginning of this video and now I missed a week. Originally I was gonna just do it in one weekend but of course you know I ordered the pendant light and I had to wait for it to ship and then I had to build up the courage to install it because I was kind of intimidated by it but I did it. Some things that I failed to talk about in the video was about the chairs that I ordered from Amazon for $15 shipping because they were not prime and the chairs were like $60. It was like $85 total which is really good I think for four chairs because I scoured the internet and couldn't find anything cheaper. I changed the curtains and the reason why I decided to go ahead and go with the gray curtains is because I do need curtains here in my bedroom and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I ordered those curtains and then I was like short one long panel and I went back to order it, but Walmart was out. So I went and ordered a different type of curtain altogether. But after I thought about it, I was like, I need curtains in my bedroom really bad. And I'm not gonna put the gray ones in here because I like a lot of light in my bedroom. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna put those curtains in here and we'll just have to make the gray ones work. But they look better. They look more expensive. They look like they belong in there versus the other ones. The other ones look more makeshift. Even though the color was good, the style and the fabric wasn't good for what we were using it for, which is a partition. And let me know what you think about that little partition that we created. I know it's a little awkward, but it's so much better than what we had before. If you guys would have seen it, you would know. Since we did decide to go with the gray curtains, it was a better option for us to go with a light colored pendant light. So we just went with a plain light shape and I think it looks pretty good. We did try the brown one, of course, you know, I ordered it, that uh, rattan pendant light and it's beautiful but it just doesn't look good against the gray. We have the gray curtain, the black table, the gray chairs, the gray rug. It's just so much gray in there. We needed something to brighten it up a bit. I'll link everything in the description box. That way, if you're interested, of course, you know, you can just click below. I think that's it. And I put on the same little outfit <laughs> so I could, you know, wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, let me know by hitting the like button, maybe subscribing to my channel. That would be wonderful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, here we go. Look at that screw go.